Hey guys, it's Thunder, and I believe I've perfected the underwater strategy. Um, I did a few tests over the past, past few days, and I wanted to see if there's any like other things you could do or things you need to set up to make this strategy any easier than it already is. And I believe I've come up with the perfect strategy. I know I've already made a video on what you need for it, but I felt that I needed to personally explain everything to this strategy I came up with. Anyways, everything you're going to need for the underwater strategy, the perks, you're only going to need five perks. And those perks are Jug, Stamina Up, Quick Revive, Widow's Wine, and Mule Kick. You're going to need Jug and Stamina Up to help you breathe longer. And Quick Revive is an obvious in solo, and even in multiplayer, I recommend it. And re recommend it. Widow's Wine is a very helpful one, because if the zombies get too close to you, they'll just hit you and you can get stunned in the web. And Meal Kick is like the bread and butter to the strategy. It's going to be the reason you're getting that round 100. Because you need that third gun in order to get there. For the weapons, you're going to need the Masamune Wonder Weapon. You're going to need the Skull. You're going to need an HBK with Deadwire. And I'm being very specific, like, it has to be Deadwire. And my reasoning behind that is because you need an M8A7 with Turned. And the M8A7 is easier to get ammo for than the HBK. Because if you end the round, like, you usually go for ammo at the end of each round, and you're going to need the turn zombie over the dead wire zombie. Just my personal thoughts on this. Turned is going to get you 30% of your kills, and you're not going to realize it until the end of the game. If At the end of the video, I'll show the leaderboards, and you can see that I have 11,000 kills less than the next person above me, and it's unbelievable. With this strategy as well, I never I never thought to maybe doing this, but y I recommend it, is get the shield and get the lightning shield. Because I went from round 25, I think is what it was, 25 to 50 or 50 something, and the shield never broke. I only used the shield to kill the straggler zombie that would come and hit me. I'd use the shield to zap him, and it insta-kills him. Doesn't matter the round. And... Last but not least, have a gobble gum that you are ready to go with. Don't try and get a gobble gum mid-round or at the beginning of a round, unless you have monkey bombs. This entire game, I never had monkey bombs. I did try for a little bit to get them, but I got bored of hitting the box and got sick and tired of it. So, this strategy, you don't even need monkey bombs to, to achieve your round. I recommend saving a zombie at the end of each round, if you can. If you can't, grab ammo as quick as you can and get back down there. Do not, the one thing I can recommend to anybody, do not try and force your way down there if you do not have the skull. Because you'll see this would have been a perfect, a perfect run. And I went down because of sheer stupidity of trying to get a gobble gum. So, I hope this video helps. I want this strategy to get out there because I just... I feel a lot of people hate the map because of how long it takes to get set up and I hate and they hate it because it's too hard. But honestly, the setup only takes like half an hour. It at least in my opinion. I don't it takes me half an hour 45 minutes a regular zombie map to set up this map. The only things I have left to do after I get everything I need is upgrade the Masamune and complete my challenges. And maybe get a pack-a-punch gun or two. Those things you do in between the rounds anyways. So, as well as for the map being hard. It's good we finally got a hard map. And I'm glad I was able to find something to make this map easier. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you even enjoyed the strategy itself, leave a like on the video, share it with your friends. Let's. I want to get this video out here. Because I want everyone to start enjoying Zetsuba no Shima for what it is. Because, honestly, it's not a bad map at all. It's a fairly fun map. Also, I forgot to mention is I honestly think that they need to patch or fix something to do with when you go far enough down the tunnel where zombies can't come after you. Something needs to be fixed about it. It's just, it's not fair. It's not, you're not glitching. It's just a barrier that zombies can't run down, and I understand it's to protect you for getting the piece for the KT4, but after you get it, they need to have a spawn point or something 
to allow zombies to come after you. Because when you go down far enough, it's easy mode. And I'll be the first to admit that this is not fair. But, I mean, if it's there, it's there. There's nothing you can do about it. Anyways, I hope this strategy helps. You know, good luck to anybody who wants to use this and attempt at it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.